Hi, welcome back to my channel. Let's take a look at the Mancook Games case study today. The case study was revised this year. The revised version seems easier and more straightforward than the previous one. It points out which services to use. It also gives Google the flexibility of the question variety. You can review the original video on how to propose and draw the architecture diagram. In this video, I will not go through the proposal template and the drawing tool. I will focus on the architecture artifact and the possible test areas. Are you ready? Pause the video if you need more time to read the case study. Mount Kirk Games makes online session-based multiplayer games for the mobile platforms. Google did provide a mobile game analytics platform reference architecture. I will leverage the same reference architecture as I mentioned in the original version case study. You can pause the video if you need to go through this reference architecture first. Now let's take a look at the computer choices for the mobile platforms. It mentioned the plan to deploy the game's backend on the Google Kubernetes engine, so you don't need to choose from Firebase, GCE, GAE, and GKE as I mentioned in the original version case study. Use GKE with HTTPS load balancer as a global load balancer for global traffic. GKE is a cluster auto scanner can automatically resize the number of nodes in a given load pool based on the demands of your workloads. You can run the GPUs in the GKE. You may want to review the limitation on running the GPUs in the GKE before your exam. The Lift and Shift Legacy Games VM migration does need to reflect before adapting GKE in the future release. You can still use the stack driver now called Cloud Monitoring to monitor GKE. In order to keep the Cloud leaderboard in sync, they plan to use the multi-region spanner cluster. So we will change the data store that manages both user profiles and game state in the original case study to the Cloud Spanner to manage the leaderboard too. The remaining architecture will be no change you can also connect the Cloud Spanner to the Data Studio, Looker, etc. for the visual analytics and dashboarding. Any latency related questions will be on the Cloud Spanner and the Cloud BigQuery. The next text area will be on the Google Cloud Resource Hierarchy, IAM, and the potential, maybe potential questions on the Cloud Billing. Here's what the resource structures look like based on the existing technical environment. You should review the GCP Security Cheat Sheet Part 1, IAM, and the billing to understand the IAM principles and the best practice before your exam. The last possible test area will be on CICD. I discussed the DevOps details in the Dress for Win case study. Dress for Win is a deprecated case study, but the DevOps model that I mentioned in the case study is a general model in the cloud adoption. If you don't want to review the video, at least go through the continuous deployment to Google Kubernetes engine using the Jenkins before your exam. Thanks for watching and as always subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips. See you next time.